Hi guys, I have another video for you today. It is a Mazda 6 and I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper on it. The procedure itself is very quick. You should be done in under 30 minutes and all you need are some basic tools like a uh, flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to start off here by removing these plastic clips that hold the splash guard to the bumper. I'm using a Phillips bit to remove the center and then just take out the whole thing. On some cars you might have three per side. This one I had two. For some reason I had different style clips on this side. I don't know if that's normal but you might run into that. Alright, once you got that removed, there are two plastic clips that you'll need to take off and then there are also two metal screws that you need to take off and both of them you can remove with a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, let's crawl under the car and remove the rest of the splash shield. There are four more metal screws that hold the splash shield to the bumper. Go ahead and use your screwdriver and remove them. They're not, doesn't take a lot of force to take them out. And there are four per side. I'm going to speed things up here so you don't get bored. Alright, once you got both of those sides loose, you got the splash shield out of the way, there are two more bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, in the center of the bumper. And uh, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to remove those with my ratchet. Alright, that's about it. Uh, if you do have fog lights, you'll want to disconnect your electrical connector right here before you take out the bumper. It's a different style plug on the other side, but go ahead and remove that too. And finally, there are two hidden screws, one on each side. You gotta peel back the splash shield and look up and you'll see a metal screw right there. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to take it out. It's a lot easier when you're using two hands. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. After those are removed, that's it. Uh, you can slide the bumper back. You do have to disconnect a couple more uh, electrical connectors for the side marker lamps. So just remove the bumper, move the bumper a little bit forward and you'll see where the plugs go. Go ahead and take them out. I grab it by the front and just remove the rest. And there you go. That's pretty uh, pretty much it. Nice and simple. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out more Mazda related tutorials, go ahead and 
go to happyranching.com and uh, we'll see you later.